Ooh, what's going on, everyone? We are going to be playing some Bubble Bobble today on NES. Uh, we're not playing with game sound today. I know it is a little disappointing, but I have tried recording a Bubble Bobble video. Well, I've tried recording a bunch of these. And the sound is never really right on them. Because this music is like decently loud, even on the lowest uh, volume setting on my phone. So we're just going to manage, but... I mean, to be honest, the Bubble Bobble song is very recognizable, so you could probably just hum along to it, even without any reference. And we're just going to be killing some robots, playing some Bubble Bobble, and doing everything you know. We're going to be collecting some fruits. We're going to be hopefully collecting this one before we have to move down. And we succeed. I love to see it. You love to see it. We all love to see it. Speaking of what we love to see. We're going to get the D. We're going to get the E. We're going to get the E. F or not. Alright, so this might have uh, screwed me up. But we are going to corner ourselves. Which is not the play. I'm learning. However, we can easily come back. I don't think we need a second D for extend. Spoiler alert, that's the uh, word that you gotta spell. So I'm just not gonna bother with that one. Um, but yeah. One thing that I do want to say is I have played the sequel to this game on the channel before. And that was Rainbow Islands. Uh, however, there are more sequels in this series on NES, so I will have to play those. And I don't want to spoil what those are, because... I mean, they have some pretty interesting names, I will tell you that much. We're gonna go for peppers, because they are worth more than apples. I don't know if that tracks to the real world, I haven't been, uh, tracking prices lately. But I would assume apples are more expensive than peppers. They seem harder to grow. Like, peppers you could, like, buy seeds of, like, at, like, Home Depot. And then apples, you know, you gotta get, like, the whole, like, tree in there. You gotta water it. You gotta wait a few years, and then you'll start getting stuff. Peppers, you wait, like, six months, and then, bam, you got it. You are in, like... Donkey something. I was trying to say uh, on like Donkey Kong, but with a different preposition, so. I obviously haven't planned ahead too, too much. But speaking of planning ahead, we did get a nice piece of candy. Which I believe is letting me fire the bubbles faster. I think that's what the uh, yellow candy does. And we're just going to kill that white hooded man instantly. Because I really don't want him to leave me. And then bust out of the bubble, turn really angry. What can I say? I'm a people pleaser. I'm going to get the gray candy though. Whoa, 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 whoa. Alright, run away from this guy and then get him. That was really close. And we still have one more guy. Did I get him? Yes, I did. Alright. Uh, here's a little fun fact about Bubble Bobble that I just remembered. If you guys have ever played the arcade game Chack and Pop, the enemies that you kill in Chack and Pop turn into the enemies in Bubble Bobble once they die. So, I don't know what, like, the lore significance is of that, but... I mean, it is a little odd. Though not too, too odd, because, I mean... Check and Pop was also created by Taito, so... I mean, what else are you gonna do with the characters? I think I'm just gonna stay in the corner on the pinball machine. Although, I will try to get the uh, last pink guy mad. 
call me a an iconoclast because I am trying to enrage this little pink guy so I can kill him like so and collect his sweet, sweet fruit. There we are. You love to see it. Speaking of what you love to see, we are on a heart level. Now, don't let the uh, sweet exterior fool you. This level will uh, wear you like a shirt if you are not careful. But if you are just uh, uncareful enough... Is uncareful a word, or did I just make that up? Like, uh, I don't know, someone that makes up words, like a, I don't know, a toddler or something? I don't think those guys really say words too much. But luckily for me, we get out of the heart decently unscathed. No hearts to be broken. And now we gotta deal with a pink guy sculpture. Shouldn't be too, too bad, especially because I have uh, some decent firepower. And what did I say? We end it instantly. Metaphorically, of course. It was not literally in an instant. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, I counted my eggs before they hatched. Counted my bubbles before they popped, even. <laughs> Now, the real question is, what on earth am I going to do here? I think this is the method right there. We're going to take some pot shots. Believe me, I love, uh, I love me some pot shots as much as the next uh, guy. However, we still need to fight these two. And that shouldn't be too, too bad. Because... I mean, it does kind of suck that, uh, this guy just... Ooh, right before he broke out. Dare I say, you love to see it. And we almost spelled out extend. So that is another thing that you love to see. Alright, this level has some very narrow corridors. So we are going to have to be exceedingly careful... Only take risks that you can afford to take. Alright, this part is a little tense, but not tense enough for the old Bubble Bobble Master. I'm going to say that right now, and then I'm going to get uh, absolutely clapped by this key level, but... You know, for the time being... What else are you going to do? You got to get a little cocky before the magic happens. And we have an X. Wait, we already had an X. What am I saying? So the white hooded man is going to get got right there. That guy is going to get got right there. And we still have one more white hooded man in this cluster right down here. And you love to see it when all the bubbles turn into turnips. Because, I mean, you could collect those turnips for a pretty hefty profit. If I do say so myself. Absolute turnip farmer that I am. At least in this game. I also wouldn't mind the magic wand. Now this part is going to be a little tough. But not tough enough for the absolute bubble bobble legend. Okay, he's mad. Okay, but he has now been bubbled. I really wouldn't mind this big gem on the bottom if I can make it there in time. And yes, I can. In a split second. You love to see it. And now I'm going to deal with this, uh, what appears to be a menorah for the Hanukkah season that just ended. Though, I'm not Jewish, so I don't know when it ended. Personally, it's not really on my uh, priority list. 
So if we got any uh, Jewish viewers, drop it in the comments when Hanukkah ended because, I mean, well, now it's in my head and I gotta, I'm dying to know. But take me to level 20, where we have a new enemy type, which appears to be Propeller Boys. We're just gonna ride this E up there for miles, like, uh, like what the pioneers did to boulders. And we could easily kill these white hooded men. And there we are. So now we're in what appears to be a bird cage. And this level seems very weird. How am I going to get into this thing, first of all? Okay, so I guess I didn't need to get in. I needed to lure them out. That is good intel for the next time I'm playing this game. Okay, but what am I going to do here? I think I kind of ruined myself. Now. Alright, not now. Alright, so we're going to try to lure him out. And we lured him out. So now, we just got to catch him on the bottom. Catch him with a coat and smack him with a hammer. Now that's a Christmas movie. And believe me, I know my way around a Christmas. T, please. We are one E away from greatness. What if I just line them all up? What if I just line exactly two of them up? And then... We're gonna do something like this. Oh, he's mad. But luckily, we could vomit bubbles at a very decent pace. Catch him in one of them. But now, the real question goes, how am I gonna get up there? And we'll just uh, scroll the screen from the bottom. Everything is just kind of coming up Millhouse here, if my name was Millhouse. But it's not, so I guess you could say everything is coming up Connor. We are going to get these three in the corner. I don't know what that is, but I want it. I don't care how, I want it now. Oh, it, de it uh, disabled everyone. And it made me drop like a rock, apparently. What am I going to do here? I'm just doing the same thing over and over again. I'm insane by definition. Alright, but now... Oh, now it's mad. Alright, I took a little too long with uh, being insane by definition. Give me that E, please. It was the wrong E. Are you kidding me? Alright. All right, well now, now you made me mad. You mess with the bull and you get the horns. Oh, who am I kidding? I can't stay mad at Bubble Bobble. This game is a legend. Actually, no, it's not. This game is great though. Is it legendary tier? I mean, yes it is, but is it a legend? I don't think so. Definitely 9 out of 10, though. If I had to review it. Did you see how easy that review was? I just set a number, and then that number worked. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We just have one more propeller boy on the sculpture of a propeller boy. What does that hurry mean? I do not like that. I think if you take too long, there's like a little white guy that shows up. Yep, there's the white guy. And we did get hit by the white guy, but... I mean, so what? We still have lives to spare. And by lives to spare, I mean we have a life to spare. Take me to level 25, also known as Popcorn. I was not expecting words today in my bubble bobble, but I cannot say that I am, I cannot say that that's unwelcome. 
as they say. Uh, but, oh well, uh, we did get a game over. That was Bubble Bobble. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys next time.